All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my health journey. This is the first video of videos. So, with that being said, I do want to say hello. My name is Mike. Uh, I do run a, another YouTube channel that is called Mike W Productions. Over there, I usually do TV reviews, sometimes movies, depending on if I can get them cleared by copyright. Uh, this was Leaf Photographies, yes, um, but I decided to really get out of the photography field more so and uh, talk about something that I am constantly working on, which is my health. So if you guys want to watch those uh, episodes from the photography deal, I will leave those videos there. Uh, there are some random videos there for you if you want to give those a uh, go. But I'm changing the channel to this. So with that being said, I do want to thank you guys. If you do decide to unsubscribe because of this, that's cool. If you decide to subscribe to this, thank you for your support. I do want to uh, go through a few things before I go on my journey with you guys. Um, one, this is my journey. You have your journey. I have my journey. I will be posting maybe once, maybe twice a month. So I'm not going to be dumping, you know, two, three videos out a week. Um, I might do a lot of shorts if I decide to do that. Uh, kind of day-to-day -day kind of thing, like this is what I'm eating, this is my weigh-in, uh, my glucose levels, things like that. Uh, but I won't be making long format videos every single day because that's just too much work to do and YouTube's not paying me. This channel, as of this video, is not monetized. Um, it actually has lower subscription than my main channel which I just watch basically right now. We're watching All in the Family and Avatar The Last Airbender. So if you guys are interested in that kind of watch, react, and review thing, I will link the channel at the end of the video. So what is this channel going to be about now? Well, again, like I said, I'm going to do some weigh-ins. I'm going to go to the gym because I'm going to a gym right now. I'm going to try and keep up on my diet. Right now, I'm doing a form of keto, and I'm working into getting that to be more working on keto. And OMAD, TOMAD, days with snacks, days without snacks, things like that. There's a few things that you guys need to know before you jump on in the comments and say, Hey, fatty, or whatever you guys usually would make fun of me for. Uh, one, I know I'm a big boy. I get that. I just weighed in. I have lost mm, 10 to 15 pounds so far. So I was about 300 pounds a few months ago. Now I'm in the 280s. So the mid to high 280s. So uh, again, weigh-ins are going to be fluctuating. That's a part of life. But before you jump in and start, you know, harassing or making fun of or anything, I will right off the bat tell you you will be blocked from the channel, and I might even flag your comment to YouTube, maybe even removing you from YouTube. So just be warned on that. Don't be an a-hole in the comments. Uh, you don't have to support me, just don't be an a-hole. If you guys don't like the, the content, then again, it's fair, don't watch, it's okay. This is not super for you or your entertainment. If you find it entertaining and something that you like to watch, then great. If not, I totally understand. This is not really to get monetized. It's just my health journey, which is literally what I'm calling it now. So, again, uh, if this channel gets monetized, if it gets a bunch of you know subscribers and viewers and whatever, then great. If not, then it's just something that I do because it's something that I wanted to do. Other than that, I am going to be, you know, again, just doing weigh-ins, telling you guys about my diets, pretty much a lot of shorts if I can, because it's easier just to grab my phone and be like, hey guys, I just went to the gym. This is what I did, dot, 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 or hey guys, I'm cooking this. Sometimes I will do longer format videos for you guys, like maybe I found a keto bread or a 
you know, a keto something or a health something that I'm cooking. Or maybe I just wanted to show you guys that I'm eating three pieces of chicken and how I usually cook it or something. Um, again, not everything that I will be eating will be healthy because I'm a human. We all eat what we can afford and health food is expensive, especially with the way that the economy is going right now. So again, most of it will be maybe cooking, long format videos. I'll try and check in with my weight and my glucose maybe. Uh, but I'm only going to be doing maybe one or two videos a month if this does pick up to where I get the same subscribers, viewer rates, and all that, I will jump in and make a longer video, maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes long. And if you guys really want to see what I eat every day, uh, the exercises that I do every day and all that stuff, I can make longer format videos, but I really want to be monetized before I jump in and make this like a full-time dedicated thing. But for right now, it's just my journey, it's just for fun, and it's just for me to keep track of my own health journey. So, with that being said, I do want to explain a few things before we jump into anything more serious. So with that being said, I do want to tell you guys about myself, my health journey previous to this video, and where I'm coming from as a health person. One, not a doctor. Nothing I say here is medical advice. You are you. You need to listen to yourself and or your doctor. Uh, anything that I say on here is not medical advice. It's just stuff that I am doing to and for myself. Uh, you do you, boo-boo. Two, again, unless I'm making a good amount of boost, you know, viewers, subscribers, uh, this will be maybe once or twice a month. It's just something that I am doing for myself. Anything that I eat is anything that I eat, which I will eat anything I want. Don't hit me up in the comments saying that I'm failing or anything like that because I really don't care. Getting more into me personally, let's jump into some history of who I was before this video. So starting off, I was born in September uh, 1987 and uh, I was born with spina bifida which is a birth defect in the back. For those of you guys who don't know, it's usually very severe. Um, I had what's called a myelomeningocele, which is a bulging of the uh, spinal cords and things, and there was a basically a mucous membrane holding it all in from falling out, and that was in the lower L quadrants of the spine. Uh, so with that, uh, doctor said I was never going to walk. I do walk even though I'm sitting right now. I am capable of walking. I do walk with a limp. Sometimes I wear braces, but that's because I get dry cracked feet and that's pretty severe as well. I have a shunt in my head, which is a tube that runs from the brain down to the bladder and runs the liquid out of my brain because my spine, my spinal cord puts water into the brain since I'm so old. It might have stopped draining uh, and not be like an issue anymore, but because of my age, they don't want to remove the tube, so we're just going to leave it there until it becomes an actual necessity to do something about it. So I will use a cane when my back gets uh, particularly agitated or bad. I do get random uh, flare-ups and back spasms and issues like that in my back, my legs, I get sciatica, things like that, and I'm doing all of this to kind of work through all of that. Uh, when I was in my young 20s, I decided to start going to the gym because, again, I was about this size before, and then I came up here, and that was four or five years that I was working out. And then I came up here to Kentucky where I live now, and this was down in Florida when I was working out originally. And then I came up here and I got into a car accident. You know, I got hit from behind and I was driving a little Honda Civic and the person driving was driving one of the mom mobiles and uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. Going through that year of PT, uh, year of pain, uh, I couldn't work out. 
beyond what I was doing at PT because they didn't want to uh, stress the body out any more than it already was going to. At that time, I was about 210, and I'm about six foot tall, so that's relatively healthy for someone my height and width. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are into BMIs, but that's within health for someone my size. Could have lost 10 pounds and been in the actual healthy range, but either way, 210 is not that bad. Did PT, couldn't really work out, work out. I had to do what they wanted me to do. And with my back issues and my leg issue, um, I slammed my leg into the leg rest. I slammed my whole body into the seat. So I had muscular skeletal problems. And I still go to the chiropractor like at least once a month, if not more, uh, depending on my insurance and how much they will let me do it. They got me on some uh, pills called methobicarbonol or carbamol, and those are muscle relaxers. The problem with muscle relaxers when you have spina bifida is that it gets rid of all of the pain everywhere. So it got rid of the pain that I was having in the upper skeletal issue, which mo most of my issues were the upper back, you know, the neck, the shoulders, things like that, the whole back area of the upper body because my whole body went and slammed into the car, into the car seat. So when I started taking the pills, the issue became, one, they didn't last very long. Two, uh, I felt like I got hit by a truck again after getting hit by a truck, basically, or an SUV. On top of all that, lower spina bifida pain from the surgeries that I've had and things uh, you get used to as a kid. That's just a pain that you live with. It's, it's kind of like you don't know that it's pain until it goes away and comes back. For me, uh, I was always used to it. It was always just kind of there. And so when I started taking these pills, it went away along with the upper body, but when it came back, it came back really strong, which is a huge issue for anyone who's dealing with pain because pain sucks. Felt like I got hit by a car again, but on basically the entire body because the lower back hurt just as much as the upper back. So that wasn't fun. And it's still not fun. I still get flare-ups. I still get, you know, issues. I'm still going to my chiropractor. But I'll still go to my chiropractor even if I'm feeling good, feeling bad, because going to the chiropractor for me is a good thing. So I got done with PT, uh, still going to the chiropractor. Uh, insurance wouldn't cover my PT anymore. That sucks. Because they said, oh, you're doing well enough. Okay, that really doesn't help me because well enough isn't well. It's just well enough. So, yeah, that's never fun, but I had to find an alternative means of doing the exercises that they wanted me to do and keep up with my progress. So they also said that, yeah, you can go to back to work. So I decided to go back to work at a local grocery store. Within a week, my feet blew up. What I mean by that is I had water welts, and those water welts uh turned into dry cracked heels and so i have to have a procedure done once a month to cut out the dry cracked heel parts i still get the dry uh build up and i still get the cracks in my feet which until i probably i'm assuming lose some weight that won't get fixed so that's one of the reasons why i'm working out Again, with all of these health issues, I'm only doing what I can and or what I feel like I can do. I'm trying not to push myself because, again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, but you don't want to hurt yourself at the gym, and the gym doesn't like it either because they don't like having to pay for you hurting yourself. So I'm just doing what I can, and that's not a whole lot, but it's something. I'm also trying intermittent fasting, um, which is... Uh, TOMAD or OMAD, which is two meals a day or one meal a day, which means that I either skip breakfast, skip lunch, or skip dinner, 
or I skip breakfast, lunch, skip lunch, dinner, or I skip breakfast, have lunch, and skip dinner. Depending on which one I'm deciding to do that day, I'm trying to get myself from two meals a day down to one meal a day. So after gaining the weight, I also uh, found out that I'm diabetic now, which is kind of meh because, you know, I can't eat bread, can't re really eat rice or bread. Um, sometimes I do because I'm human. Sometimes you need something. That's why I'm changing my diet so much rather than just exercising uh, to get my glucose down and my A1C at a normal rate. So that's basically why I'm, I'm doing Tomad and Omad. So I'm starting off by cutting out just one meal. Breakfast is usually one meal that I can really skip and not have any issues with. So going from that to lunch and then dinner is easier for me. And then eventually I'm hoping to get down to one meal a day. Uh, I'm also going to the gym. I'm trying a little bit of treadmill, some biking, and things like that. I'm also doing some lifting. Uh, not heavy, just, you know, light. Maybe on the ropes a little bit heavier because they're, you know, they have the pulley system so you can go a little heavier on those. You know, I'm trying to balance myself without hurting myself. So that is where I'm at right now. Again, since going to the gym last year, I've lost about 10 to 15 pounds. Of course, that fluctuates depending on what I eat, what I don't eat, and things like that. So with that being said, hopefully you guys like this video. You learned a little bit about me and my health issues. Um, I know this was a little bit more of a serious video. I'm going to try and make the videos, uh, especially the shorts, a little more fun, a little more of a rundown on what I did, what I'm eating, my weigh-ins, maybe even my glucose, things like that. Uh, we will jump in to all of that uh, during the week. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So with that being said, I do want to thank you guys for jumping in and watching this video. If you guys would like to hit that little subscribe button, it would be most appreciated. If you guys want to give this video a like, it's even more appreciated. If you don't like the video, don't be afraid to hit the down button because I don't check anyways. Any engagement is still engagement to me. So with that being said, I do want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video and we will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.